We all know that developing a new project can take quite some time, starting from UX, server and client implementation, deployment, it all adds up. But won't it would be great if we have a solution to validate our ideas faster or implement real projects in a matter of hours and not days or weeks. In this video I will show you Hosting Horizons, which is exactly a solution to this problem. This video is brought to you by Hosting Horizons. So we're working a lot with AI nowadays, like for example ChatGPT, but they have the same problem. You are getting some code, but you need to either copy paste it or merge in your code by using for example GitHub Copilot or Cursor AI, so it is not seamless experience. It would be much nicer if from our prompt we can get the working project, and then without seeing code at all, we are getting something that works. This is exactly what Hosting Horizons is doing. So here is our official website, if we have an idea, we have just a prompt, where we can throw what we want and get our idea validated today. You can just prototype some SaaS that you want to implement, or build even a bigger project and deploy it directly to production. So we are not getting just code from it, but also a design, markup and all logic all at once, without even writing a single line of code. Now let's try to use Hosting Horizons in order to implement a project like Pomodoro Timer. First of all we want an amazing design out of the box, then themes like dark and white, a possibility to configure all our timers as needed, adding breaks, getting notifications and let's say we want to use for this React and Tailwind. So this is what I want to paste. Create a modern and visually appealing Pomodoro app, so it should be 25 minutes work in focus and 5 minute break cycle, and it must have following features. And as you can see it is extremely important to write all instructions that you know, because then you will get a much better result. It makes a lot of sense to first plan what you need to do, write all edge cases, bullet points and then use it here. So first of all we want a great UI with light dark themes, then we need a progress indicator like circle or progress bar, an ability to customize our sessions and break, these are our settings, then we want a longer break after 4 sessions. We need sound notifications and alerts, and additionally we want a task manager, because obviously we have some tasks that we want to complete today, and we want to keep track on them. We also need session history, which means something like local storage, and responsive design, which can be easily implemented with Tailwind. And for the framework we want to use here React and Tailwind. Now let's hit enter, and it will generate for us our project. It will take quite some time, because it has generated every file, and here on the left you can see what exactly it is doing. Here you can see every single file name changes, and the whole project is being generated file by file. After some time, for me it was around 1 minute, we are getting all done, and your stunning Pomodoro app is ready. And here on the right we can see our application, which looks quite modern, and we can start our timer. We can also click here on the top preview to see it as a separate page. Here on the right we can change a theme, we also have settings, so in the model we can tune our focus time, break time, long, long break, and save our settings. Also here on the right we can create some tasks, like for example learn React and learn Tailwind. Now we can finish some tasks and we are getting a nice pop up here on the right. And here are some stats like tasks done. There is also some diagram where we can click and see our productivity stats. So our application already looks great, but I see one small problem. In our light theme this button reset is not visible only on hover, because it is completely white. So let's ask it to fix it for us. So here what I am asking it to do. This design looks great, keep it fully as it is, but change the color of reset button as the text is not readable. And just to make sure I am writing don't change anything else. As you can see it made a necessary change, and now in our application we can see that reset button is fully visible, and it is working just fine. So our application is fully ready, and it would be nice to see it on production, not just as a demo application, but really as a deployed project. And we can do it just in a single click here on the right, 
we can hit publish button and our application will be deployed directly to production. So here we are getting a model that our project was published successfully and is available on this link. Obviously, this is not our own domain, but inside Hosting Horizons, you can get a domain and bind it directly to this project. Then you will have your own domain with this deployed project. But as of now, we can simply click View Website, and here is the link what we are getting. It is being hosted as a subdomain on Hosting Horizons. And our project just works as before and looks quite amazing. Now let's try to create some different projects. And as you know, you can't easily download a YouTube thumbnail from the YouTube itself. Yes, you can do it with Inspect Element, but it would be really nice to have a separate project where you can just paste a URL from YouTube and it make it possible to download its thumbnail. Here I typed all information that I think is relevant. Create a project which looks nice and allows to paste a YouTube URL and shows the thumbnail and allows to download this thumbnail in different quality. And we want to use Tailwind and React here. And after some time we are getting a result. So it created for us a UX with smart URL parser which extracts video information and thumbnails adds multiple quality download options with preview cards and also some notifications. And here how it looks like, pretty decent for my taste. Here we can paste a YouTube URL. I will paste here a URL from my channel and hit get thumbnails. First of all we see here a tooltip which is really nice and there was a spinner of loading and now here on the bottom we can download a thumbnail in different quality. The maximum HD resolution is 720p, so we can click here download and save it on our machine. As you can see, the image looks really clean and the service is working just fine. But let's say that we are not satisfied with this purple bluish background because we had this background in the previous app. So let's ask it to change it. So here I asked it to change our color theme to orange. And here AI updated gradient classes and our color utility classes and here how it looks like. It looks completely different, so let's try to fetch data again. And as you can see the application is still working in a way how we intended it to be. Now let's try something completely different. Let's say that as a developer we need a portfolio website that we want to generate and show when we're looking for the new job. Here what I defined, create a portfolio website for me as a senior programmer with focus on front-end development, Angular, React, TypeScript and Redux, make great UI UX, add mock data for name, surname, location, phone and work in experience in several companies, add university and languages info. Obviously when you want to generate a portfolio for yourself, it makes a lot of sense to write for AI all real information, like jobs where you worked. Then it will generate the website with all correct information. But as this is just an example, I don't want to throw all my data inside, so I asked it to use fake data instead. So after some time, this is what it generated. We see a website on the right with nice color theme and some mock data. So we are Alexander Rodriguez, senior front-end developer. Here we have our contacts, a possibility to download the CV or get in touch, and we have links to social networks. Here is an about me section, even with an image on the right, and after this we have technical skills with animations. Here we also have working experience in different companies, and all these blocks have really nice animations. After this, the section education and languages, and some featured projects. We can also click view project, which goes to GitHub, for example, and after this, a form with get in touch. So again, it is a great way to get a portfolio website, which you can create in minutes and not hours or days. And here you for sure want to say, okay, but these were some simple projects. Let's try something more difficult. So here I asked to create a budget app which allows tracking incomes and expenses in different categories. It must allow us to add categories, incomes and expenses. We obviously need a great design and the possibility to see some metrics of our incomes and expenses. Additionally, we would like to filter by categories and use here Tailwind with React. 
So our application is created, but here is a small important point. As you can see here, it leveraged local storage as a storage solution, but it can help you move your code to Superbase, for example, as a cloud database or add real-time sync later. So let's have a look on our application. So here is our budget tracker. We see our total income, expenses, balance, and categories. Here we can add category and we can type some name like groceries, type expense, and the color. We have a nice tooltip and the category is created. Now let's look what will happen if we try to add income. First of all, as you can see, we have a description, an amount, and a category. And as you can see here, there are already some categories that were created automatically for us. We obviously can tune it later. Let's say it's a salary, we don't need a description, and it is just $1,000. I'm clicking Add Income, and we're getting an error, Fill all fields, so let's write it, that we got it from our full company. I click Add Income, and we're getting our transaction here. Let's add an expense, maybe. It will be on bananas, the amount will be $20, and category would be grocery, this is exactly what we created. I'm clicking expense and here we can see our transaction. We also have filters for incomes or expenses or filter by category, like for example groceries. As you can see, the balances on the top are changing like total income, expenses, balance and categories. So our basic budget application is created and we can obviously make it more complex later. So hosting a horizon is an all-in-one solution which you can try for free with the money-back guarantee and 24-7 support. Get started today with Hosting a Horizons and use my coupon Monster Lessons to get 10% of your first month. And you can find the link in the description under the video.